Right, so thinking about things that uh, I might have regretted, I don't think there are any because I've been very fortunate that when things have come to a sort of, a, a not exactly a grinding halt, but less than satisfactory, I've been able to move on. And so, for instance, Alan and Hambridge, they were 20 fantastic years, had fantastic colleagues, we were incredibly successful, at least four blockbuster drugs, lots of ideas, but I think that uh, slowly but surely Big Pharma became Big Pharma, it got bigger and bigger, more and more corporate, more and more political, and I was really quite keen to uh, get back to the bench and start thinking about new ideas, and I was very, very lucky that uh, the new CEO, Richard Sykes, could see uh, what, what I really felt and he was prepared to fund me to go and do some new things in another uh, um, location and it was fortunate that we found Cambridge University had uh, a floor um, that they were prepared to vacate in their department for pharmacology to, uh, to allow a drug company to come in and Richard Sykes was prepared to put significant money in and he said, Pat, off you go, you can take 10 or 15 people with you and get on with it. So I actually only took five, um, but they were five fantastic people. In particular, Vaz Fenio, such a cl close colleague with, of mine I'd worked work with for many years already, and Anton Michel, both brilliant pharmacologists uh, who, are, well, I can't speak too highly of them. And the three of us really led uh, a group of about 30 people um, postdocs, PhDs, and uh, all of them went uh, on to do great things themselves. They learned um, a huge amount about pharmacology, which I think is the biggest thing that I was able to give people, and one of the major benefits of the uh, of the of the program. Although we did do lots of good research, we uh, we had ideas that could have been prosecuted, but I think it was quite difficult working in an academic department to transfer these eyes. Uh, ideas into a you know a, a big organization that was already following uh, down its own path but I think the money was incredibly well spent and I think in many ways we did continue to show the importance of pharmacology and drug discovery which is really indisputable and I think you know people very obsessed with genetics and molecular biology uh, today but I think people at last have seen the light that you cannot throw out pharmacology it's always going to be the underpin drug discovery.